Hi, it's Time for Grain Shorts, and I'm going to use this five gallon steel drum to make a burning accessory to add to the top of my rocket stove. This will allow me to burn things like invasive plants, like ivy, things like that that I have in mass that I wouldn't be able to do effectively with this rocket stove. Welcome back, subscribers. If you haven't joined us yet, you can do so by clicking on the Green Shorts icon that's going to appear in the bottom right hand corner of the screen throughout the video. I'm going to use that to burn invasive species, things like English ivy, weeds, stuff like that, where I wouldn't be able to get as much volume inside the rocket stove burn chamber. I'm going to create a container to sit on top of the rocket stove, like this. It will allow the fire up through it, and I'll put the stuff in the top. To be able to use the powerful convection burn I get from the rocket stove to burn that stuff more quickly and clean. To do this project, all I'm going to use is my grinder, a half round metal file, and some safety glasses. This video uses the prototype from a rocket stove which doesn't have the integrated pot standoffs like the final design. If your rocket stove does have pot standoffs, you'll also need to drill three holes in the bottom of your burn chamber to slide over the bolts. After making sure there aren't any flammable vapors in my steel drum, I cut the top off with my grinder and a cutoff wheel. Then I'm removing any residue with a paper towel. And then knocking down any sharp edges with the file. And then flipping my barrel over, I'm marking a four inch wide square in the rust on the bottom, which I'll then cut out with the grinder. It's important that the opening sits right over the rocket stove chimney. All right, we're good to go. Let's give this thing a shot. Always find a level spot to place your rocket stove. I can increase the size of my firebox just by raising it up on bricks like this. Get a lot more fuel in there, more air coming in. It's going to help the burn, especially when I want it really, really hot. And by making my firebox come out the bottom of the bucket, it allows me to do that. Here's the train. It has to be the train. It's always the train. But I don't want to ruin my really nice pavers here. So I'm actually going to use some chunks of concrete instead. I'm going to build my rocket stove fire starting with two larger sticks to allow for ample airflow through the fire. Generally you'll want a fairly open log cabin style fire to allow for a lot of air to move through the fire and up the chimney of the rocket stove as the convection current pulls it through. I tried to light this fire using some leaves, but that didn't work this time around. So I slipped a little paper underneath the bottom and lit it with that. Feed the fire until the flames are coming out of the top of the rocket stove chimney. Then it's time to add the burner. Now it's time to add invasives. Here I'm adding some English ivy and some privet hedge. It's 
important to keep your fire fueled well. In this case, the firebox is too full and the fire will move outside of the firebox. To fix this problem, I scrape some of the coals from underneath, allowing for airflow to begin pulling the fire back through the firebox. A quick addendum before this storm hits. This channel is about simple DIY videos that help us find ways to be more sustainable in our day-to-day -day lives. And burning things isn't always the greenest option. When it comes to invasive species, when you remove them, you also need to destroy them. If you just put them in your compost bin, they would simply re-sprout. Burning is an acceptable option for destroying invasives. I see using a rocket stove for this purpose as having three positives. We're permanently destroying the invasive plant. We're using a method that uses convection so we get a cleaner, hotter burn. And we're using a locally found and sustainable fuel, Twix and Stigs that we find in our yard. Those three positives are what makes this a green option in my mind. If you haven't seen the DIY video on how to make this rocket stove, you can see it by clicking on the card here. I use my prototype rocket stove for this video and I made a few updates to the design that made it better for the final DIY video. So you might notice a few differences between the two. As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green. And save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks for watching. Please like and share. And subscribe for new DIY videos every Friday. It's about to get rid